Welcome back guys. Today we are going to work on one more um, you know, small widget which is a stock market widget which um, we can get through the Google's finance API and you know here is how it works. So let's say we have a URL which is something like this. You know? So you can see we have the stock name, the exchange which is NSE and then the price okay and that's how you know we will get our data okay and we will have a widget which will update that so let's get started we will make an api call okay an api route which we will ping through the you know uh, view widget where we will make that call after every let's say one minute or two minutes whatever is the frequency i hope uh, Google doesn't have an you know, limit to it uh, for my personal dashboard what I have done is I've kept it at five minutes um, uh, which is okay for me um, you know, not much of a difference I can anyways go there and uh, on the main website and check but yeah that's how it is so let's say we have our user controller okay so which is here uh, HTTP controllers auth and this user controller okay i don't have a user controller so let's make that the namespace app my function name will be stock data so let's change that I'll need the request object okay and let's just say um, we're going to pass multiple symbols okay and um, then we'll get the query which is implored so we'll pass them as symbols I mean uh, as a string and then I'll make that as an array so I'll show you how this is working but for now let's just um, keep it like this and we'll just for now return all the request and let's create our widget first okay so that we have a better understanding we'll not dive into the API part right now so I will create a new view component which is stock dot view All right, and let's just see what um, things which we can add. So we'll have a wrapper. Okay, inside that, I'll just quickly, you know, uh, copy paste the markup because otherwise it will take too much time. So give me a second. Okay, so that's how I am, you know, putting the markup so it's stock wrapper then I have a card title which is fine and then I have a table where I am doing stock and stock data okay this is just to have a get row class uh, markup which I'll you now add and so let's get started so first of all I'll need a, a URL okay which we need to import so import let's call our URL stock data from config.js okay and we'll also import underscore from lodash okay which we already have now we need to work on the config.js right so let's look at that so we have config.js in here we'll add api domain plus API v1 stock data okay that's what our route is stock data inside v1 so that's done okay I can close this and now let's look at um, okay so we'll first make an method which is 
get stock prices okay and this is going to call the uh, stock data url so window dot axios post stock data that is our url this dot stocks okay we'll need to populate that so this is the data which we are going to get uh, sorry send and then once we get the response we'll do where stock data is an array we'll assume it's an array and then we will iterate through it we will have stock and name so that we can display the data so stock data dot push will enter each stock you know this is the one and once the iteration is done we will say this stock data oops we defined this as stock data right oh okay now we haven't so this dot stock data is going to be stock data which we have defined here which means we need to define that in our data as well we have return this can be an empty array for now and what additionally we will need to do is we'll need to populate the stocks right uh, which is this stocks so we will do that this is going to be an array again <clears throat> so let's say we have this lnt we have uh what what else do we have we have ongc right and let's say we have um one more which is let me recall so i have sale i think okay steel authority of india so these are all indian stocks uh, i think google finance has a uh, us uh, stock exchange as well but uh, i'm not very uh, sure about those scripts but this is how you know, we have uh, you know, these are the three scripts which we are going to work with okay so these are the stocks and this is my stock data now i am iterating through stock data i am showing the price the change the percentage okay obviously the name as well and now i need to write this function this basically what it does is uh, <coughs> sorry it will check whether the change is in green as in sorry a positive or a negative and based on that it will give me a class so i have this function i'll pass the value return dollar value if it is sorry is greater than 0 then it will be green i'll show you why this logic has been added okay i have seen the you know um json and that's why i'm doing that um but okay so this is what it is now the only thing which we need to do is we have this function we have this data but we need to populate it right so on create we will add that and will also add a set interval uh, which we have done in the clock widget as well um if you have not gone through the video i will suggest you do that it uh talks about how we do a set interval very easy uh, so the first thing is get stock prices what happened get stock prices this dot get stock prices my php storm nowadays uh is not doing too much of um hinting i don't know what happened okay so initially it will do this so let's see how this can start you know start working uh we have this and i think we should get the ajax call okay we need to do some more things before we can you know get that so app.js inside that we'll add our component which is stock and the view file name is stock.view okay okay i have built that now let's see um no error yet now what is our blade file name user dot blade i think no it's home dot blade 
in that I have clock. Okay, this is one row, and in that I have this, right? Okay, so let's create one more row. This is where my row is ending. So I'll have one more row, and let's just have this and inside your you're logged in I'll have stock okay 